Hello everyone, it's me ASMR for welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you how to make a preset and uh, obviously the outdoor type portrait preset. Let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. I downloaded uh, some image from unsplash.com and I'll provide you that download link in my video description for your practice purpose. At first, uh, press Ctrl or Command J, you'll get copy of this layer. And after that go to the filter and camera filter by the way i'm using photoshop 2021 and the camera 13.0.2 it's updated version if you want to get the update version please check out my video description so in this image i'll fix the temperature and tint by using the white balance tool this one is the auto white balance tool just select this one and select in a phase you'll get the change of that so after changing that uh, it look like uh, totally uh, too much cool I'll make it a little bit warm like this and I'll down the highlight and after that the exposure a little bit not too much okay after that uh, the vibrance I'll make it down so like this and the saturation I'll make it up a little bit up that's fine and here the texture clarity and dehaze and from here i will make it a little bit dehaze so the work of the dehaze is that if you give the minus value it will be the foggy and if you give the plus value it will be the clear one and the whites i'll make the whites up and the contrast i'll make the contrast like this and the shadow if you need just a little bit up that's fine now in a curves so i'm using the blue and green this one is the green curves and blue curves and red curves so if i talk about the curves you are getting the uh, the demo over here if you get the curves in the upper side it will give you the blue color that means like this and if you take it in a downside it will give you the yellow color so now you can fix or you can change up according to this so i'm taking this one a little bit upper side that's good the blue curve the green curve you're getting the green in the upper side and the magenta in the downside and red the red upper side and aqua in a downside if you need aqua you can take it a little bit down so not too much now in a rgb so if you get in the upper side it will give you the lighter portion and if you get the downside you'll get the darker portion so i'm lock over here here and here okay now i'll take this one that means the downside of that into a little bit upper side for the moody tone that's fine okay now done for the curves and now detailing this one three things sharpening noise and color noise reduction so you know that noise two types of noise over there the black and white noise and the color noise so if you want to reduce the black and white noise just pick up or increase the value of the first one and if you need to change or reduce the color noise you can give the value like this okay fine now uh, it seems like flat so how to make it more charm or like a 3d type get the highlight up or get the contrast up that's fine now i'll go to the color mixture the total amazing thing or the important thing for the photo editing hue saturation luminance three things hue which color will be and the saturation percentage of the color luminance and intensity of the color so at first hue uh, here the uh, percentage of the green is uh, uh, more than the other colors that means I'll work with the green color so green if you need to change the green color you can make the green like this or into the yellowish tone so I'll make uh, this type of tone and the aqua color if you change the aqua color it will respond just because of some aqua color appears over there and the orange color as well so I'll change the orange color the saturation of the orange I'll increase and the luminance I'll increase a little bit so not too much otherwise here you'll get the uh, changes so that so i'll make it like balance like that 
in this portion you're getting the overexposed area that's why i'll go to the basic again and make the highlight down and the little bit exposure down that's fine and the vibrance little bit okay and you can make it a little bit warmer okay minus 16. now again color mixture and the green color i'll change the situation green like that and if you need you can change this now the jeans color is blue that's why i'll work with the blue color i'll increase the blue color okay that's fine and the red little bit down and the yellow little bit down that's fine and now i'll go to the color grading the main thing of the photo editing the shadow mid-tone and highlight shadow the darker portion is shadow you know that the mid-tone little bit darker portion is mid-tone and the highlight you are getting the highlight portion over here so what color will be in the shadow i'll work with the shadow only this one is the shadow portion i'll give some color over here and here is the color built you can just drag and you can get the color from here i'm giving here this type of color okay that's good or you can work with that i think that is nice now i'm not giving any color into mid tone and shadow if you need you can change uh, so if you give the mid tone like this that's fine and the highlight you can use the highlight color like that that's fine and now going to the color calibration three primary colors here is the red primary color so making the red primary color like this the green primary color like this okay and the blue primary color so what will be the color you have to define that this one is the green prime primary color i just made it so curve i'll make the curve upper side like that too much not too much a little bit so you can manage the photos so i got the color like this okay now you are getting the before and after normal image to the extraordinary new type image now i'll make the uh, tint and the temperature a little bit up so it will make more sense the vibrance a little bit up and the saturation a little bit down the dehaze that's fine and texture that's good and the blacks you make the blacks like that so before and after you are getting like that and i'll save this preset for you guys saving the settings and hit the ok button okay and hit ok you're getting the change before and after totally new type of preset so going to the file again let's apply this preset into another this type of photo or similar photo so here uh, photo like this it's controller command j getting another new copy of this layer filter camera filter and after that go to the load settings options little bit earlier i made that preset and i'll import that preset faded green and hit ok so you are getting the amazing look over there and hit ok so totally new and creative preset and again going to the file and open up another image which is uh, really similar to the other ones go to the filter camera filter and after that going to the load settings options from here the faded green and okay but in this picture i need to change the highlight a little bit up okay and the saturation of the green i want to make it up so here the saturation the orange i will make it up and the luminance as well so here is the assumption to change up your photo according to your photo so some of my fans just given me some a text and phone call that uh, the pc is not working the main fact is that this photo example and your photo is not same in a light and the positions and the uh, ambient actually so if you need to adjust the stuffs you have to change the lights and temperature tints 
those stuff this is the main thing to use the preset uh, all the people's just like uh, or uh, imagine like that the preset is easy going things i will apply this and it will give you the result same but no this is the wrong idea you have to be or your photo should be the similar to this type of lights if this answer is no you have the assumption to change the settings according to your photos light hope that you learn a lot from this video and hope that uh, this mistake won't be in a future so hope that you'll enjoy it or it will help you out to make your photo more creative until the next video i may see my signing out today stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers as well bye bye